Alright, what's up everybody? Uh, sorry I skipped last week's vlog. Um, this is week 14 and basically 13. Um, but yeah, um, everything's going pretty well according to plan. Um, did have a new low today. I was hovering around. This whole last week was like 190, uh, 189, 191, 191, 189. I just kept doing that. And then uh, today, finally, after my refeed um, yesterday, went down to 187.2 so that was exciting um, felt leaner uh, was it was a good difference when I looked at today's pictures um, from last one from the last one so I was like it's getting excited to have my legs finally leaning out a bit um, and I'm nine weeks out so that needs to be happening um, but yeah uh, despite that excitement my coach Jeff Albert still um, took off 25 carbs um, because he noticed like I also noticed but I I mean I don't know as much about it but he noticed that my weight is uh, would go up after my lows like typically refeed uh, uh, my weight would go down um, but then after it would go down it would go up a little bit and then go down a little farther and then kind of repeat that trend so he's like I want your weight to stay try to stay lower um, or to keep it lower and not have it raise back up like it's been doing. So um, that puts me down to 300 carbs a day, which is still not that bad um, considering dieting. I mean, 300 carbs is not is really not that bad. Um, and I think at this point, being nine weeks away and realizing how close it really is, I can't believe it's already been 14 weeks of dieting. <laughs> and so I'm thinking like some people are just starting their diets three weeks ago. Um, to do the typical 12 week business um, but yeah uh, it's really that's where the big difference of bodybuilding and just being like fit or in shape or to look good for summer the typical like oh I'm bulking it's winter time I'm bulking right now I'm gonna lean out in summer um, so I can look good at the lake and uh, it's a bit of a difference from like being six seven eight percent and three percent so from now uh, it's basically getting lean to being shredded um, and seeing how shredded I can get so basically uh, one of my little sayings that I like to say is I don't want uh, I don't want washboard abs I want washboard glutes so I mean if you got glutes then abs are pretty much a given that's like if you're in decent shape at all your abs are pretty much going to be there so for most people anyways um but yeah that's that's really what I want to achieve this season that's like my my conditioning goal because I've never had that um all the way I've had them like sort of start to come in but not like not like Birdo glutes or anything insane like that where it looks like a row of fingers in a line and you can see every freaking muscle fiber um, but yeah that's what I'm going for so now my macros are 60, 300, 270 um, refeed is still 60, 450 and 260 so it's still not too bad but I mean even though I lost another 25 grams I'm just like I want to be leaner so I want to just see myself get retarded lean so that's what's keeping me going right now um, and not even because there's I was telling Jeff I was like there's this part of me that's like no don't cut my macros don't shrink and I'm I was like scared to send him because he started doing more midweek reports and I'm just like my weight needs to drop or he's gonna cut food um, I know a lot of you guys on 3DMJ are having that uh, the thought process too so I was excited when my weight went way down and and, uh, and I was I mean I wasn't that surprised but I was I wasn't really expecting my carbs to get cut um, but the other part of me is just like the part that wants to be super lean and be in really good shape for this season so I was like eh, whatever that sucks but I don't really care because I want to be leaner more than anything more than eating uh, an extra slice of bread <laughs> or something, whatever, 25 grams equates to that day. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it is what it is. I'm still 
eating more than a lot of guys out there, so I got to keep that in mind too, and just keep enjoying the whole process. Um, but yeah, I had a photo shoot today, just kind of like a test shoot. I haven't done any modeling in a long time, so because I mean, as some of you guys know, I took the whole last year off, and I was just in off season. I wasn't fat, but I wasn't lean. I wasn't really lean, so because um, I was just trying to get bigger. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I went to Old Town Sack and walked around with uh, a couple other models, Tyler Nash and uh, crap, I'm blanking out your name. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> Jordan. Um, but yeah, it was fun just hanging out with them and uh, walking around with uh, unbuttoned shirts or no shirts and Old Sack and everyone just making comments and yelling or laughing or pointing, taking pictures with us, meeting up with us. Um, I met actually somebody that's on my fan page, which is pretty funny. Um, so, um, good to meet you, Sandra. Uh, but yeah, it was an interesting day, and it was fun. Got a little sunburn, and it's all good. Um, and I need to be more tan next time I go out. Because I'm, I'm not pasty, but especially compared to like Tyler and Jordan, I was white. So, whatever. Um, it was just a, a fun day experience to see how it kind of how it look um, and it'll be a good memory to be like oh yeah this shoot I was nine weeks out so I might get a couple pictures up on my page from that I don't know um, if you want to see my progress pictures right now of my mandatory poses uh, I just posted some on my fan page which is facebook.com slash natural firminator and I think that's about does it for now so I will continue my journey to being insanely ripped as much as possible and having fun the entire time. Oh, also, this, hitting it, is high intensity training, not talking. That's my buddy Ed Castillo. Um, and I just bought a Razorback like tank top from them. They have them. Uh, look them up on Facebook. Pretty awesome shirt on the back. It has a logo like this, if you can see it. Pretty awesome shirt. If you want people to leave you alone in the gym, you just leave your headphones in. Don't make eye contact with people you don't know, and you just lift, and they see your shirt, and they go, oh, this guy's serious, and they leave you alone. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, check it out. Other than that, I think I'm going to not do any more vlogging right now. <laughs> see you later.